guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel Schools of Consciousness. My name is Galia and today we are still in the desert and it's been pretty chilly, uh, raining, it started raining again. So I've been really liking to enjoy uh, this inside space that we have with the minivan even if it's not as big uh, it's nice when you can have a space and you can be inside since we have um, mostly an outdoor setup so it's pretty cool to be able to be inside and today I feel like for me was really a cleansing day it was a day where my body and my spirit truly asked me to slow down, um, to just breathe and to just be present. And I've been really into embodiment practices. I've been cultivating uh, some of my gifts when it comes to movement, flow, and it's something that is really, really, really important for me. And sometimes there's this desire to be in motion, but also I need to remember to just um, be still, observe, and be able to tap into more and more remembrance. And this is truly what I want to talk about today. You know, I've been really vulnerable sharing about my journey on this YouTube channel. Uh, I created a series that is called Healing the Wounded Feminine that I truly invite you, uh, no matter if you are a guy or a woman, I truly invite you to watch this series because there's a lot of wisdom to understand our own pains and how traumas are passed on from generation to generation and how we have come here to break through these traumas and how we need to release these karmic attachments. If not, these karmic attachments become our prison. And this is really important to understand that uh, it's been a deep, deep, deep process for me and during my travels, I truly experienced my consciousness like never before. And, and how do we expand our consciousness? As I was saying, we expand our consciousness through remembrance. And remembrance gets activated sometimes by spaces, by smells, by some memories, some relationships. And we need to become aware that this is when we should trust our intuition, follow our own lead, listen to our heart when our heart is saying that this is something that you need to address. This is something that you need to heal. And for me, India was whew, a big hit experiencing India, going to India, traveling in India. It opened up really this deep uh, feminine wounding. And this deep feminine wounding has to do with this collective wounding that we are all healing. The disrespect of the mother. When there's disrespect of the mother, there cannot be any balance. This is why this world is suffering. Because we don't respect the land. We trash this beautiful earth. We don't live in harmony with her. We are against her. And even if... And I'm saying we because I'm taking responsibility for the collective as well. Even if... I'm not the kind of person who is going to litter in nature because I'm the kind of person who is going to clean up and who is going to be aware that I should respect nature as I respect my own mother. 
So yeah, we hear every single day about alarming news. And this is coming first because we have, we have been so disconnected to nature that we have allowed ourselves to be controlled by the mind and by society, religions, belief systems. And the only way for us to get out of this matrix is through remembrance of who we truly are as souls. Not who you are, not the social identity you are defining in this world, but your sole purpose. Because if you are watching me, if you're following us, it's because you have felt something on this channel that was for you that you truly connected with. And this is because ultimately, and this is what I've been talking about when I'm talking about disrespect of nature and how it has this global impact on us and how we choose to live our lives, is that if from today, every single being, including you, is dedicated to serve, we won't be in suffering anymore. What I'm saying to serve is to serve others. And how do we serve others? Through our own service to the divine. The ultimate truth. The highest. And I know and I've been saying, you know, it's, it's always the game of social media. Because some people are going to try to attack you in order for you to not say the truth out there because they are threatened by the truth. They have let themselves become controlled by a system of thoughts. They're not thinking for themselves. So when they see you in your freedom, it's threatening them. They can't accept that ultimately they are free, free beings. And this is what I've come here to manifest. This is what I've come here to create in this reality, in this uh, physical uh, reality, physical kingdom. I've come here to be the leader of a revolution, a revolution of consciousness. And I stand with the people who think for themselves, who have their own spirituality, who know that God is within and they don't need to find God in a book. They don't need to find God in a temple. They don't need to find God in a mosque. They don't need to find God in a church. Not because dogmatism is destroying us. And dogmatism holds a really special place in my life. Because I had to deprogram from a heavy Muslim background. And when there is religion, there's traditions culture, entities, heavy entities, heavy energies attached to religion. And it is because religions are also made of the distortions of humanity, distortions of human beings. And this is important to say this out there that many people today are healing from heavy religious traumas, heavy mental illness. And it's coming from a misunderstanding of reality, of darkness and light. The creation of a devil and a god. This dualism 
that is not allowing them to break free, to liberate themselves and to fully be with God beyond forms, beyond names. And this is what School of Consciousness is about. Reclaiming our true connection with the divine, us as children of God. And I will be talking about many of these topics because I think it's really important. And I don't want this channel to just be about travel or showcasing our van life. If you are looking for this, we are clearly not the people you should be watching because our van life is also a powerful statement that we are here to create a new path. A new freedom. And freedom is not just about living rent-free, even if it's something attractive. It has to do with also healing from suffering. Freeing ourselves completely from mental blockages from memory imprints deep stored traumas that are keeping us stuck in this physical world not allowing us to ascend so if you resonate with us if you want more of this content please subscribe to the channel send this video to your friends family, people who need to hear this. I want this channel to be about also supporting each other because it's a path, a long journey. Uh, healing is not linear. Creating a new path is difficult. It comes with a lot of hardships. So I want this space to be safe for everyone to express and we won't tolerate any negativity, any people trying to just bring uh, the vibe down. I'm not going to all of this on this platform. So thank you so much for following us and for more content, for more, more powerful content. And I'll see you in the next video.